Okay, today I thought we'd take a look at this uh, Mr. Clock Radio, the talking robotic clock radio. Um, the first animated robotic alarm clock radio. I don't know if that's really true or not, but uh, this is the first time I've played with it. Years ago I got this, I think it was at Christmas, and uh, I had never opened it up before, so I opened it up today. Just plugged it in. Right now it's uh, running off a, a wall wart through here. You're supposed to put battery back up in there as well. Um, there's a tuning and volume control for the radio, AM and FM radio. It, um, of course, has a normal clock, an alarm, and it has a fortune mode. Let's see, let's. Turn the radio okay. on. I guess you want me to be quiet. So we turn the radio on and then he decides to be quiet. And turn the radio off. Well, it's about time. Let me see if everything works. Uh, it says Fortune. Yes or no question. I don't have one. Let's push the snooze button anyway. Hmm. Let me think about this. No. So, what we're talking about is all these functions here. There doesn't appear to be a date. Normally it sits in here and you view it from this side. And it's uh, sitting in this blue packaging. I can't find a date anywhere on here, so I'm going to have to look up online just to see if anything pops up from uh, G Whiz under Mr. Clock Radio and see if we can come up with a date. If I do, I'll put it in the title um, of this. But basically, it appears to be normal servos. I can hear the normal servo chatter. Here's where you'd put in uh, backup batteries. So if it loses power, had a demo mode, which I do not have on right now. None of this light writing seems to be a date. Um, it's the speaker back here. Power adapter. Aux input. Maybe that means you could input your own audio into that and he would talk along with it or something. But you can see he does uh, blink, eyes, moving mouth, moving head. Great. Ask me a yes or no question. Then press my red snooze button down there. Hmm. I wonder if it's always yes or no. Again. Press the F2 button to begin again. The time is 12, 11 a.m. Yeah, so he tells the, the time too. There is a, a booklet which probably would explain a lot of this stuff in here. In this uh, deal here. But it's all uh, sealed up, and it seems like such a shame to uh, tear this open since it's all sealed up. That's a registration card back there. I'm just wondering that maybe on the back side of this little booklet there might be a date or something hidden in there. If I don't have any luck online, then I guess I could always come back out and rip the booklet open and find out. It does come with a, uh, a cable, which would connect to that aux input jack. Which leads me to believe you could plug like your MP3 player or something that would have been around back when this thing came out into it as an aux source. Just thought I'd see what. So apparently, any time you want to know the time, you can just hit the snooze button, 
The headlight switch, I'm guessing is these two blue lights on the very top of his head. Okay, yeah, I made the two blue lights. Well, now they're back on again. So I'm not really 100% sure what the headlight button does. I'll hold it, see if that makes a difference. They seem to be brighter now. Okay, now they're out and flashing. I don't know if any of that's being caught by the camera. I'm talking about these two little blue lights here. So I pushed them, we got a flashing. I'll push them again. Okay, now they seem to be out, and he's like in a sleep mode. I'll push it again, and now they're, they're on. Um, let's, well, he's moving on his own, so he's not completely asleep. So, there you have it. Great. Ask me a yes or no question. Then press my red snooze button down there. Hmm, not sure. Better ask me again. Press the ask two button to begin again. The time is 12.14 a.m. Okay, I think I've had enough of Mr. Clock Radio, the talking robotic clock radio.